ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, I've come all the way from Qatar, and I'm flying back tonight, but for one single moment, I don't regret it at all. I would first of all like to thank U21 Global for giving me this opportunity to speak today, and I trust my thoughts and feelings will reflect that of my fellow graduates who are here. Today has been a day that all of us have been waiting for a long time. And while I have a feeling of relief at completing my MBA, I definitely do not have a feeling of regret. I think I speak for all of us when I state that I am proud of this certificate. It has been a long cherished dream and a very personal goal. All of us in the program had pressures on us. Work pressures, family pressures, basic human pressures that made it virtually impossible to find our time to attend regular classes. I still remember the day that I signed up with the apprehensions as to whether I would ever complete the MBA. And when I spoke to a few of my fellow students today, two and a half years, three years, five years, but I think what matters is all of us were today holding that certificate in our hand, which I'm sure we will cherish not for 15 years, but I think till the time we are on this earth. U21 Global was an integral part of my family and was my, basically my virtual family. My wife had a lot of complaints about it. Uh, she's, she's, she's the happiest person, I can tell you that. And uh, it was one that I spent quite a few sober nights and week, weekends with, you know. We had to finish this on time. It was 23 minutes, 59 seconds, and if you count the nanoseconds also. Uh, I would just like to thank everyone who made this possible. In particular, my wife, Judith, and my two boys, Nihal and Aryan, who unfortunately are not here today. They have their own exams tomorrow, so I said it was not fair. <laughs> I would like to also thank my professors, fellow students, and all the staff in U21 Global. It seems strange that we are all here together, most of us having never met before, but all having a common reason for being here. While most of us had never seen each other, we knew, know each other very, very well. From the various online discussions, the team assignments, that is the beauty of our interconnected world. I remember with fondness the team assignments, those were quite complicated. Like getting a virtual team together with different time zones is something that's not an easy, easy task at all. I would like to quote from Peter Senge, who is a professor in MIT and a well-known author, and when I read this, it actually reflected a lot of what we all did together over these last few years. He said, when you ask people about what it is like being part of a great team, what is most striking is the meaningfulness of the experience. People talk about being part of something larger themselves, of being connected, of being generated. It becomes quite clear that for many, their experiences as part of truly great teams stand out as singular periods of life lived to the fullest. And some of us spend the life, rest of our lives looking for ways to recapture that spirit. I think that the U21 global community effectively captures the spirit. And is it all just about the certificate? I think the answer is no. I think that this MBA and the other certificates gave us a lot more than a certificate. It gave us the ability to become more mature individuals, better rounded professionals, more in tune not only with business requirements, but day-to-day -day needs as well. What I have learned was not learning just for learning's sake, but information that I could take and implement in the real world. I think the very cultures and experiences that all of us were able to connect with and interact helped us grow as individuals. Speaking for myself, it was it helped me immensely, even from a professional perspective. Talking a little bit of the current and the future, times of great change such as these are always times of anxiety, but also of great opportunity and hope. It seems everything is in a state of flux, and thoughtful people know that there are no quick or easy answers but they also know that the quality of their ideas and authenticity of their action can save the future. I hope we can count ourselves among those thoughtful people who have the ability and capability to, more, to be more than just effective and sought after professionals. In conclusion, I wish you all the very best for the future and I'm sure that we will all meet again, whether in the real world or in cyberspace. After all, it's an interconnected world. And for whatever new journey you may be undertaking, whether ed educational, professional or personal. I wish you all success. Thank you very much.